Hello viewers, we have come to the end of this online course in script writing. It has been an exciting journey for me and I hope for you too. In this last episode, I am going to give you some tips on career opportunities for script writers in the media and entertainment industry in India. First and foremost, if you want to get a diploma in script writing, there are two places in India. One is the Film and Television Institute of India in Pune and other is Whistling Woods in Mumbai. Both these institutes run exclusive courses in script writing. So we, you can get yourself enrolled and there you can get a diploma in script writing. Also, the direction courses at FTII and also at Satyajitre Film and Television Institute, which is situated in Kolkata, the direction courses have rigorous modules in script writing. Although the diploma will be in direction, but then you will also learn a lot of script writing if you join these courses in, in the direction course at these institutes. The question is that is it necessary or is it important to get a diploma in script writing in order to get a foothold in the industry? I would say that in today's scenario, it is. This particular course that you are doing, this is a certificate course. This is not a diploma course. Whereas the institutes will give you a proper diploma. So that will definitely have a lot of weightage. And while you are doing the course, uh, you will meet a lot of uh, senior script writers. You will be able to network with them. And then some of them might give you the first break of your career. Who knows? So the networking is also as important as learning the ropes of a script writing. So now, if you have a benevolent mentor who is ready to give you your first break, well and good. Otherwise, you will have to work hard for it. And how do you go about it? Option one, suppose you have written the script for a feature film, which you think has good potential. So what would you do with it? First and foremost, you procure a copyright for your script. And then in your name, of course, you'll have to procure the copyright. And then you read it out to some good friends and maybe mentors who you know are your well-wishers who are not going to plagiarize the idea and get some constructive feedback from them. Now, having got the feedback, then you approach producers and directors with your script and you pitch your script because a screenplay, as we have discussed earlier, a screenplay is a selling document. So you pitch your idea with the screenplay. And if the producer or the director likes it, in all probability, they will buy it off. Okay? They will say it's a good idea, we would like to work on it, but not immediately. So they will give you a certain amount of money, you will have to negotiate for it, they will buy it off. And then you have to forget about it. Maybe when the film eventually happens, your name will appear, but then they will always, definitely they will make a lot of changes in the script and you will have to be mentally prepared for it. So that is option one. Option two is that you don't want to sell off your script. You want to do whatever you have to do. You want to do it yourself. So what do you do with your script? So you can send your script to these screenwriting labs. In India, National Film Development Corporation has been conducting the screenwriting labs for several years. Okay, so right now the 2016, in, they are still inviting entries for the 2016 screenwriting lab. And what happens is if your script gets selected, of course there is an entry fee of 5,000 rupees, but your, if your script gets selected, you get to attend three workshops. So this time the first workshop will be held, uh, I think abroad somewhere in August 2016. And then the second workshop will be held in NFD, uh, at the IFI, India International Film Festival in Goa, uh, at the Film Bazaar. And the third rounding of workshop will be held in Mumbai. So when these workshops are held, uh, very renowned script writers from India as well as from abroad, they are invited to conduct these workshops and they mentor you, they go through your script thoroughly, they suggest improvement, they suggest changes and again if they like it, of course they, they can sub, uh, suggest producers that approach such and such producer and you can get funding for your film and so on. Now NMDC Scriptwriting Lab is not the only screenwriting lab in India. Uh, 
Mumbai Mantra, there is an organization called Mumbai Mantra. They also conduct screenwriting labs in collaboration with Sundance Institute. So at present, they have shortlisted eight scripts for developing into feature films and they are working on it. Now, out of this um, NFDC screenwriting uh, writing lab, recently some interesting films have come out and those are Ritesh Batra's The Lunchbox, which was premiered at the Cannes Critics Week in 2013, Kanu Behal's debut film Titli, which was premiered at Uncertain Regard section at Cannes in 2014. And Gyan Korea's The Good Road, which won the national award and also selected as India's entry into the Oscar. And also Sharath Kataria's lighthearted debut film, Dam Laga Ke Haisa, produced by Yash Raj Films. So these scripts were all mentored at the NFDC script writing lab. And eventually the films were made and they won critical acclaims. Some of them were also uh, particularly lunchbox and all. They were also box office hits. and the films uh, are will be remembered for a long time okay now what if you already don't have a script then what do you do then you may join a senior script writer as his assistant now many senior script writers they do not know how to use the script writing software so there your expertise in using the script writing software can come in very handy and he would welcome you as his assistant so that's an option open to you. So you will have to, of course, network with these senior script writers and impress upon them that you know the software and you can also be creatively uh, helpful and so on and so forth. You may also approach a producer and director because what happens is producers and directors, sometimes they have story ideas or sometimes they have bought the copyright of a particular short story or a particular novel and they have to develop into a script which they are unable to do themselves. So if you give them an offer that you are going to give try your hand and you are going to develop it into a script, they will employ you as a script writer. They will give you monthly salary for three months, six months, maybe one year, depending on the how ambitious the project is. And then you can work on the script. Now, feature films are not the only options. What if you don't want to do a feature film? Then what are the career options open to you in the industry? Now, all kinds of films require scripts. So let us discuss them one by one. Number one is advertisements. Now, advertisements have to be rigorously scripted and storyboarded. Okay. Now, who writes the script for the advertisements? Basically, it's the ad agency. The scripts for advertisements are not written by the production house that produces the advertising film, but by the ad agency uh, which uh, actually uh, develops the script. All right. So if you like this writing scripts for the short films at ad films and public service spots, I would suggest that you give that copy test for any of the ad agencies that I like. Uh, uh, o and m is there then uh, lintas is there and there, there are so many other renowned ad agency mac and erickson is there so you can give the copy test and if you pass the copy test then you will be inducted into the creative department of the ad agency you can also serve as an intern you can offer your services as an intern so for two to three months you will have to work free but you will get a lot of exposure into how this industry works and you will get a lot of hands-on experience that will come in handy and if they find that you really have talent in writing they will eventually maybe after six months they will uh, absorb you as their copywriter in the creative department and you will get a chance to write the scripts for advertisements so that's how the advertising industry works corporate films Corporate films are the bread and butter of many uh, filmmakers, including some of the renowned filmmakers. Because the feature films come, you know, in between. Say one feature film is made after every two to three years or maybe five years gap. So what does the filmmaker do in the in-between time? He makes either ad films or corporate films. And all these big corporates, they have enough funding and they always want their a film made on them. So therefore, they are ready to invest. So you can join a freelance director who is into making corporate films or you can join a production house that 
makes corporate films and you can offer your services as a script writer. So as a script writer for corporate films, naturally you will have to do the research, you will have to go and meet the relevant people, take their interviews, gather the data, dig into the archival material, from there you get information and then you take the brief from, the, from your client what exactly they want uh, to be conveyed or communicated in their film and then from there you uh, taking all the brief and getting all the material, you write the script of the corporate film. What, what are the other options? Educational films. Now you might be knowing that at least in the big cities, many schools have converted into smart schools. That means their classrooms are smart classrooms, which means that the classrooms have smart boards. Now smart board means that the teacher uses uh, that audiovisual facility to teach. Now the teacher may herself develop the audiovisual material or usually the teacher is too hard pressed for time, so she falls back on uh, audiovisual material that is already there. So you can step in there, so you can make small audiovisual, uh, small films on uh, the curricular subjects, you know shoot with a handy cam or shoot with your DSLR camera and you write a voiceover, put in some text, do some diagrams, do some small simple animations and you can make short videos on the curricular material, at least the key curricular material and then you can always sell them. Then the other career option is NGOs. The big NGOs have their own audiovisual unit and you can join their audiovisual unit as the researcher and scriptwriter. And the other NGOs, they are always eager to get some film made on their work. So you can al always offer your services at a not very high price, something affordable price and you can write the script and then eventually make the film, make a team around yourself and you make the film. the biggest career opportunity is offered by television because television is a is like a giant it's like an animal that has to be fed all the time and most of the channels nowadays are 24 7 channels you know round the clock channels and they continuously need software television programs can be categorized into two types uh, fiction and non-fiction Fiction is of course soap opera and telefilms. Popularities of soap opera has gone up both in the regional languages as well as in Hindi. And many of these soap operas are daily soaps which are um, telecast five or six times in a week. Okay, so that means they are really in need of script writers and sometimes you know for one particular soap opera like Nagina or Sasural Simranka and like that or any of the K series, perhaps they don't have one script writer but they have a team of script writers, a panel of script writers and their supervisor who is a senior script writer. So there is a tremendous career opportunity for a script writer there. Now in order to succeed as a scriptwriter for soap operas, you have to have a taste for melodrama. That means, you know, you have to give dramatic twists to the events after every five minutes. You know, either a clash between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law or a legal case or a clash between uh, the two f uh, factions in the family and so on, okay? So you have to have a knack for creating these melodramatic situations. But if you have taken up this writing for the soap operas, you have to be extremely hardworking because these are daily soaps, most of these are daily soaps. So so you have to be all on your toes almost 24 7 and you cannot afford to have these writer's blocks. Your creative juices must, must continue flowing and of course you have to write and rewrite the scripts very quickly in order to uh, give a polish to your script and in order to make it acceptable. Sometimes you can also be a dialogue writer. Instead of writing the entire script, you can be a dialogue writer, okay? Because maybe the script writer belongs to South India and she can develop the dramatic situations but she cannot write the dialogues in Hindi. Okay, so there, there you can step in if you are good in Hindi. So you can say that, okay, you write the overall script, I will write the dialogues for you. 
all right and uh, in, in hindi and also in the regional languages the soap operas are extremely dialogue based and the dialogues have to be crisp the dialogues have to be memorable okay the dialogues have to have a punch so you can always hone your skills at writing these dialogues when you are pitching your idea to the television channel or to the producer you have to say how your main characters are growing in the span of one year you know what are their character trajectories in the span of one year all right so that means you cannot just write a script for if just the four or five episodes and go but you have to plan that entire career chart of uh, your characters uh, presuming that your soap soap will run for one year all right so naturally you have to be far sighted for that and you have to take your character trajectory in such a way which is interesting and which is palatable which is acceptable to the common audience so here is a cartoon which i have downloaded that those blooming soaps always kill of people to improve ratings and the other person is saying why don't they kill of the writers all right so sometimes the writers of the soap operas are hated because they are churning out you know very banal kind of material week after week all right so that is where you as a creative writer may give something different give something refreshingly different and if you can do that then you will definitely make a niche in this uh, industry scenario which is highly highly competitive okay now in television we come to the non fiction scenario now non actually most of television is non fiction which includes news and current affairs also but besides news and current affairs you have this reality shows you have this game shows you have the competition programs you have this typical television documentaries which are very different from independent documentaries okay so you have inter interview based programs you have panel discussions and all these things believe me or not require a scripting so in the non fiction scenario you can write episodic scripts which means that you structure a particular episode how what will be the various fragments various segments in that particular episode you decide on that all right you write the voice over scripts and you also write the anchor links now anchor links are very interesting things say for example javed jafri i don't know how many of you remember javed jafri when mtv first started javed jafri was one of the very favorite anchors now javed jafri's lines whatever lines he said the funny lines were not written by him okay those were written by a script writer and she was paid highly at that time in the 80s i'm saying early 90s not 80s early 90s she was paid a very handsome amount for writing the script of javed jafri that is the anchor lines of javed jafri for each episode okay and so you have to have that that kind of a knack of writing those lines you know give a understand the personality of the person who is going to say those lines and write accordingly with the, it's it's of course not going to be very formal it's going to be informal it's going to be pedestrian sometimes but it's going to be memorable all right so writing anchor links is an interesting option voice over scripts of course you know uh, a documentary kind of segment where you have to explain the visuals or you know um, re uh, enrich the visual reinforce the visuals which a voice over so a script writer is required uh, so these are the various uh, options for uh, non fiction any other non fiction program for reality shows now reality shows like indian idol normally they have two teams one team is called the production team and the other team is called the reality team now the production team writer can write the pointers for the judges the anchors and the contestants you know we often say when we watch indian idol we often say that these judges they are fighting among themselves or they are saying things to the uh, contestant these must be scripted okay this in there in the fight between the judges must be scripted to some extent it's correct okay because that fight between the judges uh, are the winning points that that will bring up the ratings of the program so to some extent it is scripted and the pointers are given by the script writers that uh, they tell the judge that you can uh, start an argument along these lines or you can show your uh, uh, you know not agreeing with the other judge along these lines so these pointers are 
are given. Similarly, the pointers are given to the contestants also that you can give your, when your turn comes, you can give your comments along these lines, okay. So, the contestant may not repeat exactly the lines given by the script writer, but contestant will give an I get an idea that what he or she is expected to say. Okay, so these are that is the script, those are the scripting options for the production team. Now, what does the reality team do? The reality team actually gets into the life of the contestants. You know, how if it is a woman that she's a mother, she's a super mom, she's a also a professional, a mother, and also she has she is a singer by passion. Okay, so how does she manage? How does she wear so many hats? How does she manage so many things? Okay. So you make a short documentary on that contestant and you project her on screen, you know, so that everybody knows who this particular contestant is is his or her background. So that is what the reality team does. So for, for that also script writing is required and you can join the team as a script writer. So actually the career options are quite a bit, quite unlimited. Uh, but you have to of course get going, do a lot of networking because most of these um, jobs are through networking rather than through a formal interview and so on. It is entirely through networking. So you have to be well networked, you have to uh, impress your uh, seniors, impress the professionals in the industry. Somehow somebody has to recommend you and that is where your educational institution comes in very useful because if your educational institution and recommends you, it is so much easier for you, okay. As a grand finale to this online course in script writing, I would like to show you a small clip clipping from a Hollywood film called Trumbo. Now, it is not very often that films are made on script writers. Trumbo is a biopic on a very famous script writer called Trumbo who has had a very turbulent career chart in Hollywood. Now, because of his leftist leanings, he was ostracized by the industry. He was also jailed for some time. And then after being released from jail, he had to write scripts on a pseudonym. You know, he could not publish his own name. But then eventually, of course, he, he came out in the open and he was again accepted by Hollywood and he went on to win Oscars and so on. Earlier, he had uh, won Oscar for writing Roman Holiday under a pseudonym. Okay, so I will show you a small clipping just to give you idea about the life of a scriptwriter. Okay, so here goes. We all know each other, our families, we're friends. What would you do, buddy? Only you. <laughs> Piss on the best day of a guy's life. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> Romantic. Who wrote it? <laughs> you did, old boy. You stick your name on my labor, hand it into your studio, and we're in business. Look, it is just unluck that I wasn't subpoenaed and blacklisted myself. The hearings are going to start up again soon. I'm going to get cold and canned. Well, then, quick, lad. Let's sell this little beauty and split the take 50 50. Ridiculous. I'll take 10%. You'll take 20. No, 30. And that's my final offer. You're the worst businessman ever. Mm. I hate the title. Me too. Really? What's wrong with it? The Princess and the Peasant. Yes. Oh, please, Trumbo. It sounds like a puppet show. Well, then change it. I did. 
really. You think this title's better? Roman Holiday. I like it. Who invited you? I did. Choose my favorite trombone. <laughs> I'm introducing yeah. legislation. So that was so it. That he wrote on a pseudonym and I'm won an Oscar for the script of Roman Holiday. And the president supports it. So a scriptwriter has to face many things. So that would be all for today. That will be all for this course. Thank you very much. We are there for you. Whenever you need help, you can always knock at our door. You can always send mails to us. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.